Bonjour Cancer and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Claude here. Today I'm going to be doing your messages from your ancestors tarot reading. So I hope you are doing well. If you are interested in my cards, the ones I'm using by that I mean, um, there's a link in the description box below um, if you want to check those out. Now as always, please remember those are general readings. They cannot resonate with everybody. So if the messages do not resonate with you, they're just not meant for you and that's okay. So what do we have for my Cancer Querents please? What messages do they need to hear from their ancestors for the month of October? So your first card is the Wolf card, 44, and the poem reads, Devour the ferocious calling within the howling of your spirit. Run wildly into the freedom of your knowing. I love this card, it's so beautiful, so empowering. Your second card is Rooted, card 34. May you never tear the living ritual that is magic merged within the roots of your being, the soil of your soul. And finally, we have the Banshee, card number five. Heed my warning, dear child, for what I hold is far from unsung lullabies. Swallow a nail and you can expect bleeding from within. Let me put my oracle deck to the side. So, the message that you need to know from your ancestors is the Wolf card. This is the placement in this um, spread. This is a card of instinct and freedom. This is what they want you to know. They want you to trust your instinct. Um, you are part of a pack, okay? Your ancestors and you, you are part of a, of, of a pack and they want you to listen to what you instinctively know um, because there is something afoot here, as I, I can see just from that, but I will clarify with the tarot deck anyway. This placement here is why they're telling you, and this is the card called Rooted. Now, this card talks about being grounded and feeling a connection. So when I see this card in, in this position, they're telling you because they want you to be aware of their connection with you. As I mentioned with the wolf, you are part of a pack. Your ancestors and you from, you know, your lineage, you're part of a pack. And they want you to feel this connection and take reassurance in this, be grounded, feel stable and strong because of this strength that comes from your ancestors. There is a very, very strong bond between you and your ancestors. If you're not aware of it, I'm telling you because they're telling me. And it's not just one ancestor that's coming through, it's quite a few of them. And this position here is how to better take heed of the guidance that they give you um, or how to, how to act and you have the Banshee card. Now the Banshee card is number five and I'm mentioning this because five represents uh, disruption it has a number, it represents you know challenges and changes and this card talks about um, rough, anger, um, something that's afoot and they want you to take heed of this so that you are prepared because they're going to guide you, they're going to help you and you are going to feel very strong because you know what's coming, if you see what I'm saying. So, let's clarify this with the tarot. They're also saying that you have a very, very strong instinct or intuition. So you may well be aware of this already. But they're definitely, you know, there to tell you that they're seeing what's going on and they're going to support you. So we have the High Priestess, you see I was talking to you about 
I just got the message that you had a very strong intuition and instinct and you get the High Priestess. Then you have the Queen of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, which is the energy underlying that you may not be aware of, we have the Two of Pentacles. So the Twos represents um, decisions, crossroads, duality. And Coins is Earth energy. It represents anything to do with the physical realm. The Two of Pentacles talks about having to make a decision and weighing up your options, you know, in a very pragmatic way, whether you're weighing up, whether you've got the time, the money um, to invest in something, whatever the case may be, this is brewing. You're going to have to look at this, is what I'm hearing. Let me move this here so I can put that there. So we have the High Priestess, Major Arcana. So to me, as a tarot reader, um, oops, sorry, I just kicked my tripod. This is an energy of that's going to have a big impact on your life path. It's also the direct intervention of your spirit team, and in this case, your ancestors, you know, guiding you, making you aware of things. And the High Priestess um, is somebody who has wisdom that is channeled through messages um, from the spirit world. And so the High Priestess has that knowledge that's not of Earth. So this is this connection with your ancestors, them telling you things, giving you downloads that you may not even be aware is happening. And this is a card of strong intuition and really trusting your intuition because you've got such a strong connection with your ancestors. Um, you're channeling their messages. Now, they may be contacting you through different types of messages. You know, it can be things you hear on the radio, on the TV, something you read, um, an animal that crosses your road that means something to you, a spirit animal anything like that. They may be giving you downloads during your dreams, um, but you have a very, very strong connection and you need to trust it. You know, trust your gut, trust your intuition. And under Rooted, you've got the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queens represents patience and understanding. Obviously, it's the energy of the card, okay, no genders attached. And Wands is fire energy, so this is your spirit, your passions, your desire. The Queen of Wands is someone who's um, very attractive, somebody who attracts people and things to them. Um, they don't need to do much, it kind of comes to them. Um, but, you know, there are action takers, that is not to say, but they, they understand how to attract. And I'm really, really getting the message that this person is going to make you an offer. And it's, this offer is right under the Banshee, which is a warning. And so I'm, I'm sorry, the message is very strong here. This person is not to be trusted. Whoever they are, they're not to be trusted. Um, this Ace of Pentacles, Ace being the um, seed, the origin of the suit, it holds the potential of it. And because it is the Pentacles energy, like I've explained, the uh, earthly realm, so, you know, financial assets, jobs, careers, your home, this could represent a, sum, a lot of sum of money, an investment um, in your business, um, a promotion, or someone headhunting you for whatever reasons. And obviously it holds the potential of making you prosperous and abundant. And by the way, prosperity and abundance can refer to emotional um, states. It doesn't have to be just financial. But what I'm seeing is that this person, obviously being the Queen of Wands, they're going to present it like something very exciting, something that's really going to... It's going to be alluring, is what they're saying to me. You're going to... You know, she's saying, come to me. I don't know if you can see that, but to me, she's screaming, come to me. She's magnetic, or he, because as I said, there's no genders. But this is someone who's very magnetic. Um, and may have quite a level of reputation as well. And they're offering you this brand new beginning, lump of money, whatever it is, you know, a share in your business, an opportunity to have a business, a project, an, op an opportunity for career advancement, whatever the case may be. And I am hearing the clear and distinctive message that this person needs to be looked at. And when you assess this opportunity, which you will, it's in the, you know, the background energy of looking at it, that you need to really, really trust your intuition um, and your connection to um, your ancestors because you're going to need it. There is something not quite right about this and be grounded. You know, the, the rooted aspect of this card, you know, 
if it's too good to be true, uh, well, likelihood is, it is. So, with the banshee here saying, you know, it's, it's a bad omen, it's making you aware that there is something not quite right about this offer or brand new beginning or door that seems to have opened. You know, all, of, all that glitters is not gold, is what they're saying to me. And they just want you to be aware of that. So that when this comes into uh, your life or when it crosses your path, you are well aware of it, you're prepared, and you know what to do. So I'm gonna get a couple of uh, final messages to close out your reading. And remember, this is for your highest good, okay? They are just watching out for you and protecting you. So. Right. So, we have... The new moon in Sagittarius, focus on the positive. So if you have a tendency to um, be negative and um, dwell on the past, this kind of thing, this is them saying to you, okay, look towards the future and focus on the positive, the good things that you've got going on in your life. Um, don't let this message of cautious, which is there to help you, um, don't let it get you down and think, you know, only bad things happen to me. That's not the case. You are very lucky. You are very protected. And by being aware of this, this is going to help you avoid something that would not be right for you. So focus on the positive because also um, positive people attract positive energies. And so you will attract good things into your life if you are, you know, tuned in to good things in your life and grateful for them rather than looking at what you don't have is what they're saying and you also have work through your feelings okay so this is a message it's not going to be for all of you this is the last quarter moon in aries by the way if you're interested um working through your feelings some of you may not um know what you want out of life and that's why you are manifesting um, these kind of doors that open because there is some kind of confusion and when we are not aligned with our higher self we manifest things that are not aligned with our highest good and so one very powerful way of avoiding this is to do some shadow work and go within and work for your feelings how do you feel right now about your life are you happy you know are you enjoying um, your life generally speaking your relationships where you live where you work do you feel fulfilled and if you have mixed feelings dig deeper try and get to the bottom of it and find out what would make you happy or emotionally uh, fulfilled and content so that then you have a clear direction on where you need to go but i can tell you this your ancestors, they are all around you. You are never alone and they will guide you if you let them. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey for the cards with me. If you found this message helpful in any ways, do let me know in the comment box below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thank you so much for your time. It is your most precious commodity. I really appreciate it. And I wish you a wonderful month and I'll see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.